watching it once in a while is not a bad thing. Okay, this is basically what I'm saying. So eating cupcakes once in a while isn't a bad thing, right? Like, it's a bad thing, though. It's, like, just not, like, this terrible thing. But it's not a horrible thing. That's, so that's what I'm comparing it to. I'm saying fine, you shouldn't be enough. eating cupcakes. Fair enough. That's what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is... There we go. See, that's how you're losing. It's always fair enough, but... but there comes the what but. I'm saying is, What I'm saying is, if you eat the cupcake, does that make you a bad person? But eating a cupcake isn't equivalent to having... It's like a different morality thing there. Like being fat versus being a horn dog. Here, I think... Look, I think... Like, Brittany, you're get you're getting me like mixed up here. I'm not saying pro porn up, every single day. Watch it 500 times a day. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying if a man happens to go on to porn once in a while, it's fine. However, yes, I do agree with you. If there's an overconsumption of it and they're not going out and doing stuff, it becomes an addiction and therefore it becomes a negative thing. I don't well, think Andy, that something has to be an addiction to be bad for you. Andy, you, you've spent an hour now talking about masturbating. If you masturbate as much as you talk about masturbating, your fucking floors are going to be like uh, <laughs> I a don't. roach motel. I am satisfied in my relationship. I don't jerk off like that. Your you girlfriend in the comment right? was calling you out, man. She yeah, said you're yeah, full yeah, of yeah. shit. Yeah, she Andy said you're full of shit. I admit it. I jerk off three times a fucking week. You count. So what? If, you know, see, this is a guy thing. It's it's like if you ask a guy the size of his dick, he lies about the number. So if you ask a guy how many times he's jacking off and he's just throwing a number three I, times a week, it means that it's probably about 80 fucking times not, that amount. Not even. I, I wish I could do that. I, I don't have time to masturbate like that. Oh, it's you're too busy in between your streams once a day. I, look, look, and here's the thing is, I used to love porn when I was younger. Now I don't give a fuck about porn. Because it doesn't do what it used to do when I was younger. Because when I was younger, it was like, oh. But now I'm in a relationship and I get sex. So therefore, porn is sort of like meh. It's not because it's not the real thing. But I'm arguing that if a guy does watch porn, it's not going to ruin his life. <laughs> is no that one said enough? eating a cupcake would ruin your life. But it would be better for you if you didn't eat the cupcake. Sure. Yes. If look. If you do no fap, which I've done, I've gone through no fap plenty of times. Just to, was that the yeah. toughest day of your life? No, no, no. I did it for actually <laughs> forty days. My was one. Oh I yeah, did. forty days. Okay, was it yeah. forty days. And yeah, you get energy. You do other things. Yeah, I agree with you. It's like not eating a cupcake. You shouldn't eat cupcakes. But if a cupcake is there, and you're like, yo, I'll take a fucking bite. Whatever. Nah, stop masturbating. Get a girlfriend. That's yeah. my final opinion on it. Fine. My final opinion on that too. Medicare, what's your opinion? I just, I turn on the Kumite because I'm like, I wonder if they're going to be talking about funny stuff today. And it's nothing but Andy talking about how much he loves jacking off. I did <laughs> say that. She said that if you're in a relationship and you watch porn, that's emotional cheating. Do you think that's true? And sexual cheating, technically. But And sexual, what? Go ahead, Medicare. Your well, hey, hey, here's my opinion, Andy. I don't go on to streams talking about my sex life, so it gets clipped out and put up on Kronos. You, on the other hand, <laughs> uh, Andy Wainsky, is going to have some great clips today. I don't care because masturbating is not a crime. Just if you neither is eating a cupcake. But if you eat the cupcake, sh okay. The every almost every guy I know watches porn. <laughs> Every guy, I, I know several guys that that every guy watches porn. Not every guy. Most do, but not Your every boyfriend's guy. Your boyfriend's probably, I swear to God, he probably has the alt tab ready when you like, hey, babe, do you want it? He's just fucking. I, no, I, we've, I, I we've been over like what our boundaries are. We've been over this. This is and what you he, do. He knows to like literally, like he will walk in here. If he's horny, he will pick me up and bring me into the room. That's it. There's no need for porn. Why would why would he Fair offer enough. if you have if you have the option for a Fair full enough. cake? Why would you take a crumb? Like crumb is the porn, cake is the sex. <laughs> it makes no sense. Sure. Okay. Okay. But but what if your girlfriend's at work all the time 
or on bi a, a business trip is right. Andy. Andy, Brittany has this planned out. She's got Net Nanny installed on all the laptops and the PCs. So if he tries to look up porn, it sends him to an educational site. Oh. He learns how to do like roofing or some pavement work or something, some shit around the house. No, okay. I, have a, I have a better system. Um, add a penis uh, filter. So it filters every sexual image and adds a penis to it. So it makes it less sexual. So it just mind fucks mm -hmm. him into not looking at anything. <laughs> yeah. It's the latest Snapchat filter. I'll fine. I'll I'll go on a uh, porn hunger strike until Dank is free. Sure. I, I, I you know I liked your bullshit earlier too. Like oh, I can't masturbate. Uh, my my keyboard's too nice. I don't want to ruin my nice keyboard. But masturbate. Let's go back a million years to the very first Indian prince. He kissed a maid and start to blush, and we've all been blushing. Yeah. <laughs> Why did you? <laughs> can, can I just ruin? No, I, I, I just Somebody about, kill the director. I, I swear, look, look I'm. I, I agree with Brittany. I'm in a relationship. I'm satisfied. So going on porn ain't like I don't give a fuck. In fact, like watching. Oh, so you admit you lost. This is why I said you're terrible at this. You just no, said but, I agree no, with my, Brittany, my, right? my argument isn't that I like porn and you should be jerking off all the time. My argument is, if you watch porn, it is not. A bad thing. Dude, I eat can... cookies and I fucking hate them. They're so disgusting. If there's you know? a guy who's like, I'm gonna watch porn, should we go, oh, let's stop him? No. But do I watch porn all the time? No, because I have a good girlfriend and I'm satisfied. Do I watch it sometimes? Sure. I don't give a fuck. Do you think I can weigh in as a. As a Shut member? up! Sure. <laughs> Everyone hates you! Nobody wants to hear it. Unless you want to tell us you have secret evidence of Andy uh, masturbating all day long. Medica, well, you probably drink up all day. I think day. everybody has that by now. Medica, I, like, I, like, I like how you're trying to sling shit because you put yourself in the crosshair. I'm not the one that I had the hour-long masturbation I discussion don't give a shit, on a though. Tuesday morning or whatever. You think I'm like, is. oh, no, I've masturbated to porn. Oh, boy. No cares, man. Anyway, Look at the pretty. smile on his face. Who cares, man? And then he gets this grin on his face and he looks off the <laughs> camera like, oh, I wonder if they bought it. Oh, wait, my camera's ridiculous. off. Because this is ridiculous. Someone said lower the cam. I'm not jerking off right now. <laughs> so, director, go ahead. Weigh in. Well, there's absolutely no bad sides to jerking off. In fact, humans have been jerking off since, well, since they were monkeys. And monkeys jerk off all the time. So, there's there's no debate there. Whatever JF says is an idiot. So do you have a girlfriend? Oh, he left before he can answer. Question of the ages. We'll never know now. Uh, uh, well, that didn't really help me out that much. Thanks, director, for, for fucking booting oh, it after people can You know, respond. Andy, I did, I did want to ask you a follow-up, though, to mm -hmm. yesterday. What was your thoughts of JF's, uh, like, minute and 30-second turnaround uh, after that clip got played, after those quotes got read? Yeah, when you sent me that clip... Uh, no, no, even before that, when he was like, Karen is the greatest woman ever. I think she is like our Joan of Arc. And then after reading a tweet, fuck that whore and fuck everything she stands for. <laughs> <laughs> no, you came in. I, You came in with a gr grenade. You're like, you're just like, all right, guys, peace out. Uh, that was the quickest turnaround I've ever seen. And then when you sent me that clip later and we played the audio of it, he got so mad. Oh, he was he was platinum mad. You could see it on him. Post show, like po I mean, even like not after super chats, even like when me and him were talking after the show, he was livid. He was having none of it. He Andy, was... you have to you have to play the whole thing because it's funny because Ralph Retort was on that stream and he was arguing um, from the MRA perspective. He's like, wait a minute, wait a minute. How could you how could you just take all that at face value? Aren't you guys supposed to be against that? And she kept going on. She's like, yeah, but think of how pathetic he is. Like, I left out a lot of good bits that probably would have made him even more angry. Yeah, did you, uh, you obviously saw the, the comment. Oh, uh, is that the one talking about you? Uh, the, there, uh, there was one Queen of Bands he, had. Hang on, hang on. Let me, uh, let me find where this is. Uh, I, I just had it. Oh, shit. Hang on. Sorry. I'm just getting all these fucking retweets here. Who was the guy who sent it to me? Fuck. Can you just give me a sec? Oh, I know where it is. Queen of Bants. That's yeah, Queen of, Queen of Bants. Uh, she shot that over to me uh, too. Are, are you talking about the one? It, it, let me, oh, let me, a cokehead and a pre. 
yeah, let me will, let, let me read it uh, for the people that uh, that filtered in late. I'm sure you already covered it, but it's still funny. So, uh, why don't you watch a video where JF talks about this in great detail? You absolute moron. To which uh, she, I'm guessing she responds. Why don't you suffer through 15 hours of retard Worski's trademark fetal alcohol syndrome rhetoric and coke addict voice so you can stumble across a few minutes of JF talking about uh, whether he really tries to use mental incompetent Spurgs as his baby's mama. Fix that for you. What a fucking twat. Like, I didn't even, I didn't even know, I knew some, uh, uh, like, some things about her, some of her, her, her videos I liked. And then I'm, I'm like sitting in my hotel on the last day in LA and I'm just like, the fuck? And I just see your video and I'm like, oh, hey, like, I, I think me and you talked for a second. Then I'm like, yeah, I'm going to watch your video about this. And then I just see apparently I'm in cahoots with someone behind the scenes and I have sensitive information that will destroy them. I'm like, I kind of like the honey badgers. I'm like, well, I don't know you, why. Uh, did you see the shit? Did you see the shit people were sending me uh, when the video came out? Because apparently uh, JF, like in his Discord, has a pretty uh, substantial MRA fan base there. Yeah. Um, and they were they were all <laughs> you know, that bad boy and silent failures. Failure! Stop it! Failure! Oh, there we go. Oh. Okay, failure. You're here. I, I see you. I, I see you, failure. Is this how the alarm sound the yeah, first I, time? Yeah, I think so. It did he did that hours. for three fucking hours while Sargon's on there trying to talk and he's asleep. It was the greatest and worst thing ever. I want to hear what Medicare had to say. Wake oh, up, failure. Okay, fine. I muted him. Go ahead. Okay, no. Oh. No. Oh, oh, fuck! There you go. Kick him. Hey, don't approach <laughs> What has this show become? Okay. Good going, Andy. Okay. Good going. Look what you did. <laughs> okay, no, no. All I was going to say is, yeah, he has a lot of MRAs in his Discord, and they're all like, oh, my God, Medicare's such a dick. How could he say that about Karen? And I just, I would love to hear what they have to say. They're like, oh, he took her out of context. Took her out of context. He's being unfair to her. I'd love to hear what they have to say now after hearing some context about JF. <laughs> really? Dude, this yeah, has yeah, gone, yeah. Mm -hmm. This has gotten fucking insane. Like I don't get I, I don't get um what this war is with the honey badgers. I I have no context, no idea. Well of course you don't get it, Andy. You don't spend any money on men's rights activists. Where does your money go, huh? What campaigns are you doing, Andy? Fucking... Have, you heard that? Have you heard that clip yet? No. I, I oh, never no. claimed I was giving any money to MRAs. You haven't heard when the clip the yet? Fuck did I say I was giving my money? I yeah. Oh, I fucking make money on YouTube because it's my job, and I pay Chris and I pay fucking JF. And if it's a huge show, I might toss some shekels to a fucking guest. That's it. Did I ever go? I'm doing this for men's rights activism. No. You know who was, what men I'm helping out? Me, JF, and Chris. Th that's the activism I'm doing, so I have a fucking job. When the fuck? <laughs> oh, and you're a bad MRA. When the fuck did I say I was an MRA? Do I believe in men's rights? Of course. Am I a men's rights activist? No, I'm not. Oh, God, it's like the feminism thing all over again. If you think women and men should be equal, you are by default a feminist. Now take this fucking tag with all the slime that comes with it. Yeah, pretty much. That's that's kind of how it's coming off. But, uh, yeah, there's a clip uh, where they, they – I think Ralph was bringing up the fundraisers. And then she goes into a tirade about you and the money you make and how you don't donate to activism. And, like, where's your money going, Andy? What are you doing? What Who have you helped, Andy? Have any – like, have any of these people who keep bitching about this, have any of them not brought up money within the quickness? I don't know. I don't know. It's just a, it's an all-around shit show. It's that fun see, to watch. That it's seems to be stop one on pretty much everyone who bitches about it. It's like, well, it's bringing in money without having to beg. Like, with them, of course, they're going to jump the money really quick. They have, like, you know, GoFundMes for TVs. All these about money, uh, what's my severance package looking like? Your severance package is looking tiny. Yeah, you got a zero for that alarm shit. 
That's a, you're getting docked pay for that. Docked. You ruined hey, when the did we agree he was rehired? Yeah, he, listen, no, he's seven. listen. Oh, he's seven YouTubers have been taking the jobs on Twitch. They're going on Twitch. They're saturating the market. They're taking our jobs. I need this job. He can't come back. He can't come back and take his job like that. I'm already hired. You're already hired. Yeah. What am I you're supposed gonna, to you're do? You're going to hire another person of color. A well, streamer what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do, though? What am I supposed to do? Repsion has the ASMR fucking game locked on the fucking men's side. I can't do that. She's about to lock it down over here. All right, Jim, can you go away so I could I could do your videos for you? Just no, a, no, I, I think I think Sinatra needs a co-host as he's hopping between channel and channel. What is with that, by the way? Why does he constantly keep getting fucking flagged down? He keeps bullying the high school kids that that got he, shot down. Well, I could. There is there is a little bit of an evidence trail that has led to a post on you know who's Reddit, where they're like, okay, just flag him down, and uh, yeah, but why why him though? He like that's the thing I don't get. Like out of everybody, why particularly Sinatra is the one that has to have his shit flagged every day? It's because it's Sinatra. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> it worked when they went after him the first time. So now they're just, we'll focus on the one it works on. Did do you think it's because when they went after you, he he ended up with his Twitter taken down? So you know he decided maybe maybe not so much of the engine. Maybe I'll go after the dead singer. I I, I don't know. You know I I'm kind of curious. Uh, Brittany, how bad is it over at Twitch now that they have the new rules in place? Is everybody yeah, like is ducking the first and time covering? We've talked to you since then. Well. They, they're they like, no one's gotten banned from what I've seen. Maybe I haven't been paying, paying attention close enough. But people are taking extra precaution. Like, I have a friend that streams in. Like, she used to, used to wear retard all the time. And it's like, you're kind of allowed to say retard. But, like, you know, they have favoritism. They can decide whether they feel it's okay or not for you to do certain things. And ban you in particular. But, like, instead of saying retard now, uh, she'll, she'll just, like, be, like, sorry for using that word, like, after she says it, or she'll try to not say it and stuff like that, so people are just extra careful about stuff like that. That's fucking rough. I know a lot of people are freaking out. I know Harmful deleted a lot of his shit. I think Destiny locked down a lot of his shit. I'm, I'm sure pretty much, uh, you know, I don't know a lot of streamers. Oh, I'm yeah, sure his DS subreddit people, would get him yeah. banned so quick, because that's a specific rule they added in, probably just for him. Like, you can't have your communities witch-hunting people. It's counts to harassment, and that's what his subreddit was dedicated to. My say one thing, Habib, you know, at Focus Break, JF made a joke yesterday about, we were talking about Count Dankula, and JF made a joke saying that uh, like one of Count Dankula's fans bashed him. So JF made a joke and said um, that he is for the imprisonment of maximum sentence of Count Dankula as a joke because a hater said something to JF. <clears throat> he was playing around. Habib just posted this 56 minutes ago. And I'm pretty sure he's serious. The clip of him saying this. We're all laughing. Because it's obviously a fucking joke. And he goes, fuck JF and anyone who supports him. And then someone's just like, uh, I'll be waiting here to see if people who really care about freedom of speech will call JF out for this. Or just focus on the so-called left. And then Liz Reptile just wrote, maybe Andy oh. will finally see how much of a jackass this man is. He, he literally said before the sh a show started, he's like, oh, I'm going to joke because one of his fans bashed me. I'm going to say I'm for the imprisonment of him uh, for him for like maximum sentence. It was a joke. And, there's a, so, and someone saying like, are they not for free speech? Andy, you, you say this stuff like it surprises you. You understand the like the whole crowd thing. After the whole crowd thing, like that's not over, right? You get that this is like the this is like a continuation of that. Habib was the fucking uh, Habib was the uh, Discord runner for Crow. How is that how is that surprising to you? Yeah. Was Habib the Discord it runner? It was a fucking obvious joke. Andy, He's Andy, you're in the middle of an internet war and you're unaware of it, which is adorable. What? I it's adorable, am so but it's going annoyed. on. Every fucking day, it's something fucking else. It's he said he stands for the imprisonment of Count Dankula for like at one point he said for a life sentence. It's a it's a joke. 
Yeah, what's the what's Holy the thing shit. with that? People are fucking so dumb, and they're going, Andy, that's your co-host. You know, he, he, I thought you were for free speech. I am. He was joking. I'm for the free speech of making a fucking joke. Do you think JF wants Count Dankula to be in jail for life for making a joke because one of Count Dankula's fans do a jab at him? Holy shit, you guys are insane. Fucking care. It's everyone. Holy fuck! Brit Brittany is an outsider from Twitch. What's your What's your hot take on the uh, internet war Andy finds himself embroiled in as of late for the last like month? Holy! Oh, uh, I thought you guys were talking about the guy with the pug, and now you guys are talking about some other drama. Are you talking about the no, that's, that's... the drama he's been in since he started Internet Blood Sports? Or did he? Oh, I, I'll give you a quick rundown. So there was this little German guy. Austrian guy, uh, Kraut. Well, yeah, I watched all the videos and I looked through oh, okay. all that stuff. I know about that. Okay, so after that, um, a lot of people took the the ball that Destiny had left kind of when he left Twitch. Remember how he was going after JF a lot? So they took a lot yeah. of the tactics that Destiny was using because he was trying to get under JF's skin, and they ran with it like crazy. So a lot of these people are related to Kraut. Like, you got Jeff Holiday, you've got uh, Habib, you've got people that are friends with theirs, like the quartering and all that shit. And they're just continuing it on, right? It's like this little 24-hour op has been extended to a 48-hour op. And I think it's starting to drive Andy a little bit crazy. I can't handle it like, every fucking day. Oh, like, like, like literally JF, before he started, he goes, Oh, I'm going to say that I'm, I'm for the, the, uh, the arrest of Count Dankula because one of his fans made fun of me. It'll be funny. It'll be funny. It's going to be a funny joke. I, we're all laughing. We're obviously all not for it. And now it's being used. Like I, I don't support free speech. I'm okay, I, I'm quote tweeting now. I'm writing. He was joking for fuck's sakes. It is literally a joke. I don't know what else to write. When you exercise free speech, but then get ridiculed for not being for free speech, <laughs> it's pretty interesting. You know the Andy. thing. Oh hey, here's your chance. You can ask him now. He's back, uh, hmm. Venti. Oh yeah. Do, so you were talking about being on. I guess Andy's side came in, gave him some defense. I was going to ask, do you have a girlfriend after you said that, you know, you're very well, pro-porn? Of course. Why not? <laughs> of course. Laughs nervously. Hmm. All right. I always laugh nervously. It's how I... Uh, it's Are you sure I'm... you have a girlfriend, though, with always laughing nervously? I don't think oh, girls I'm, liking confident I'm gonna, guys. I'm going to have to think about that for a while. You know, it's, it's complicated, I think, is, is the problem. Hmm. Having girlfriend complicated. I'm kidding. I have a, I have a, several girlfriends at the moment. Several. So, several. Ah, so like that's why. Hard. So that's why it, it, it's, it's a little. It's a little hard to. It's a little hard to figure it out. You know, it's complicated. Basically, juggling them all at the same time. You know, your balls don't count as girlfriends, right? Oh. No, of course not. I mean, I. Uh, I, I never. I never would have thought that. But. Well, you said juggling all of them, so. <laughs> balls. All right, I I get it. But uh, do you have any arguments to set against me, or is this just gonna be an insult fest? I mean, no, uh, I'm just asking. Oh, you're welcome to the Kuma Day. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I mean, uh, real fast. Real fast. I mean, I, I, I'm an academic. I, hey, on real fast. Sorry, just talk go, over to my, go to my Twitter my and wife, everyone, I please retweet my tweet there, so I could so it could just because these people are fucking so. Dumb. Retweet me. He's so dumb. Well, you, you know what? Actually, Andy's got a good point. Hey, chat. Um, I think you should shut spread up, the word. Shut up. Shut up. That shut Andy up, agrees up, with JF that Dankula should go to prison for life. Just retweet <laughs> that. Andy says Dankula should go to prison for life. Fuck you. I love my co-host. Uh, ride or die, bitches. Fuck the commie. That's ride or said. die. Yeah. Look at do you, oh, wait, do you I, see I the Andy face? I have a Look problem at the with Andy Dankula's face. joke. Needs them tweets. He needs some tweets, chat. <laughs> Andy, uh, be sure to tell him too. Andy said he's going to Britain to fight Sargon. That's why he's flying out there. Mm -hmm. He's muted. <laughs> he's done. <laughs> he's fucking walked off. Well, he's gone. Okay. Uh, it, all right. Uh, well, I, all so, right, 
before before we jump into anything else, I guess uh, may as well tackle. The, I'm I'm getting bombarded with a specific tweet the director mm-hmm. may have made in the recent. Uh, director, you are not a fan of Jim, and you think he. Uh, that is not true. Well, I am uh, one of his most ardent fans. Oh. Well, it says that yeah. you you hate his internet insanity videos. What, what no, was the I don't reason? hate him. I am indifferent towards him. Mm-hmm. Now, I remember the director as the guy that came onto a stream and said, you can make fun of anybody, but just don't pick on the skeptics. That's not what I said. That's I exactly said. what you said. That is, said you, you, you said your time to... could be better spent going after the SJWs. The, 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 salt, the salt left is what I said. I said you guys should be together because, as you can see, Dankula is, is facing the same problems as the alt-right is. And I'm, uh, and I'm for the alt-right, you know, but... You're basically in the same pod, so basically you should probably all not fight because Sargon has a huge ego. That was my only point. Uh, with with regard to your uh, internet, internet insanity videos, I'm I'm just you know, I just posted a few complaints here and there because I don't I don't find them that funny because you know the, the people are fucking insane. What are they gonna well, do? That? They're doing insane shit. Yeah, that's fine. They, I mean, they're fucking internet videos. Not everybody's gonna lie. You know, some are gonna hit, some are gonna miss. Whatever. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. The rest but of your stuff, you pick stuff is the best stuff in, on, 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 the, on the fucking YouTubes, man. <laughs> that, that's, <laughs> that's my opinion. So I want to be clear on that, Tonka. And, and again, you have attempted to besmirch my name. <clears throat> v- Venti oh, just think... kicked him already. Oh, hurtful. I think Andy's back. Andy? Have you recovered? Are you okay? You see, he's reading the tweets. Oh. Look at him. I can see this computer oh. screen. Is, is, that, is that the Andy reading his tweet space? <laughs> hey, hey, Jim. Is that enough? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, who who's Vincent Frank? He, he says he wants to face you. I I've never heard of Vincent Frank before. Oh, He's God. a singer. Uh, he has he has uh, twenty seven thousand followers. I have no idea who he is, but he he sent me a tweet saying he wanted to debate you on your inability to show your face while mocking people. Oh, okay. Oh, sure. I, I, well, it's not my okay. show, Taka. That's, That's up to you. I I'm getting really tired of people using it as an argument, like. The whole point of the internet is anonymity so you can exercise your freedom of speech without having consequences so that it's freedom of speech. If you're going to go and put your face, people already, there's this huge issue that's been going on where people get stuck these labels that they don't necessarily deserve and it ruins their fucking life. Why would you want to show your face on the internet? It's tactical to not show your face on the internet. I'm there's not, nothing wrong All the that. people who were against it a few years ago, they're all for it now because it's already happened to them. But, uh, oh my yeah, god! You don't. Talk, you're, oh talk my god. a failure if you want to do it. That's up to you. That's fine. Um, I got twenty. I got twenty minutes. I can do, and then I got some stuff to do today. But I, I'm up for it if you guys want uh, it. He's got twenty minutes. I, I, I got. I got no way to contact the guy. I told him in the tweet that he has to DM me to, you know, get all the. You want to try to what, set what it up for a different day since Jim's got some shit to do. Yeah. yeah well, yeah. Up, if you uh, want to do that, or if Chat wants, to, well, what's his? Uh, what's his uh, Twitter handle? I, I just DM'd it to. It's uh, Frank Music. Like well, I don't know. He, uh, okay, he's, Frank. He's, he's a fucking. He's a musician. Yeah. I don't even know what the fuck he's uh, doing, trying to lay down some challenges. Right, but... uh, well, uh, if, if you're listening, uh, Mister Music, uh, get a hold of Failure, and he'll bring you on. Jim, just give up all your privacy, lol. Gonna need that social security. Just well, no, I, 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 love, I, I love hearing this argument right now, specifically about Hey Jim, uh, don't be anonymous. Hey, how'd that work mm-hmm. out for Dankula? Is, is yeah. he enjoying the uh, the lack of anonymity? Has that worked out well for him? You know what? Fuck, fuck Dankula. He didn't go far enough. Why? Why just stop at the Jews? Kill everybody. Kill everybody on the planet. That's what I say. It, it's Gotta like a, it's a modern on. mindset. It's really weird. I I don't know. It, it's, it's social media and everybody plastering their details everywhere. You see kids now that they have like a fucking Facebook where. They've got videos and pictures of themselves, their fucking names up there, their addresses up there, their phone number, the school they go to. It's just insane. Like, nobody nobody knows basic uh, internet security or common sense anymore. It's really kind of fucking mind-blowing. But, Jim, how are they going to attack you personally if they don't know who you are? <clears throat> well, they can you make up banter all you want. Shit. You I mean, could nail me for a thousand things. things. That's not going to work unless they, and they know where you live and uh, what your uh, Ancestry.com results are. Not Help us attack you, bro. Well, Help I'm, 84, life, I, I'm 84% uh, Askenashi uh, Jew. Did I say that right? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm not used to saying that. I'm not used to saying that in English. Uh, you know, I usually speak Hebrew. 
So I'm not sure if we said that right. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Shit, that's the best kind of Jew, man. Uh, Andy, <laughs> how, how are things going over there? You getting the tweets you wanted? Yeah, no, no, I'm, no, I'm good. People are, are more exciting with me. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate it. Aw. Fuck yourself, Jim. You know what's crazy <laughs> is that it's not even... The thing that ruins the joke, the concept of comedy, the thing that actually ruins it is when you have to explain the joke because then it ruins the joke and then yeah. there is no joke. That's what ruins it. That's actually what's ruining comedy. Well, that's what they're I about. Is they're about ruining the jokes because the jokes make them look like jackasses. There's no greater fucking weapon than some great comedy. Yeah, until it gets censored, of course. Oh, hey, since we've got a, a slow minute here, would you like, a, a, could I, could I? Uh, read you some of the reactions I've gotten from the MRAs. I, I had one last night, and I think it's pretty great. Yes, it would uh, be it would be yeah. a fun fucking time if you would if you would. Uh, great oh, okay, I'll, I'll just I'll throw one out. Okay, I'll throw one out from our friend Alpha Omega Kill, which is just it's just the edgiest name. It's kind of I'm reminded of like the Sonic fandom, but it's Alpha Omega Kill <laughs> responding to somebody talking about me. Um, and everything is explained in the comment. That guy will be found, and we will beat his ass up. He will be filmed, and the whole internet will see how people who talk shit on the internet are actual pussies in real life. I don't live by some bitch nerd internet rules that some troll made up. I live by the rules of the street, by the rules of life. If you talk shit, but at the same time you are skinny or fat, then get ready to get your ass kicked. And don't dare try to twist this into, you want to beat him up because you don't like what he had to say. No. He will get beaten up because the way he talks. He would get beaten up in every bar, nightclub, and every street corner. But personally, I want to beat him up because he is a lying Jew rat. I don't like liars and weak people, but I really don't like slimy, demagogic Jew rats. It's uh, from Alpha Omega Kill. What the wow. Fuck? I'm disappointed. Are I thought that scared? poem was going to rhyme. Oh, I'm terrified. You know, this reminds me of when that furry during the uh, uh, the fucking um, Deviant series was like, it's this big fucking gay furry bear, right? And he's like, I'm going to shoot Jim. I got a shotgun. I'm going to find Jim and shoot him in the head. I remember that. It's, it's about it's about that caliber of threat. It's, uh, these are always fucking... Caliber? Gay. See, like, you see what I did there? I tied yeah. it back in. It's a nice Fuck little... Yeah. I brought, I brought it back right back around. in. Yeah. Okay, so... I, I saw that one earlier. You you read the comment off and put a nice, uh, I believe it was. I put West it to Side West Side Story, Story yeah. because when you see rules of the street, you yeah. are the whitest suburbanite that's ever fucking lived. A little, a little. Uh, how 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 bad have some of the other comments been? I I glanced over a couple. Oh and... holy shit! There's a big. I I was unaware of this, but there's like a really big furry MRA crossover. Oh god. Uh, and furries aren't known for their tact. Um, they tend to get emotional about shit, regardless of the community they're in. So it's been really fucking entertaining. I should hashtag that and say not not all furries, because I'm pretty sure you've got a. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've seen that. Um, what is it? Your movie sucks. Watches Akumite and watches Worski. I think he's mm. a furry. So not not all furries, but uh, a well, good handful uh, of them get very uh, fucking emotional. Adam's I think cool. one one out of a hundred furries will leave diapers, uh, soiled diapers on the hood of on the hood of your car. So no, the leaf on your bed is like a warning. When you wake up in the morning, there's shit everywhere, and there's a giant soiled diaper. It's like a warning yeah, yeah, yeah. from the uh, from the it's mafioso. Like yeah. It's like a horse head, but but with a furry bear. Yeah, I, I get it. Fish in it. I have so a, is, oh, go, sorry. I have go a ahead. question for you. Um, so I want to ask you. You know how we parents like they'll be like, "Oh, my kid likes this little Japanese thing. Let me get them a fan. They'll like that that little." Chinese Japanese thing. Do people do that with you with crazy people? They're like, eh, I think Jim would like this crazy person. Here you go, Jim. Yeah. Yeah, no, I have a lot of I have a lot of people sending me shit. Yeah. Yeah. I I've I've stumbled on some really fucking crazy crap. because uh, people have sent it and they're like, You you have to check out uh this person's account, especially a lot of gang stalking shit, surprisingly. Oh yeah, that's uh, good. Yeah. That, people that's, talking that, about microchips in their teeth and shit. That's oh. one of the mill. That's I mean, paranoid schizos are 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 dime a dozen, Jim. That's why I'm not so I'm I'm not all that excited when you release. Well, it. yeah, but it sounds like you have a familiarity with it. Like most people don't. So when you're presenting it to somebody and they're not yeah. used to encountering that, they're like, "Wow, this is fucking nutty shit." That was I my thing it. with your videos. Is I don't do internet, so I was watching your videos, not really knowing much about the fucking internet. It it, it was wild. Yeah, there's some there's some fun shit still out there. 
uh, until everything gets sanitized. But for right now, there's some interesting shit. With the way things are going right now, what kind of clock do you put on that sanitization? I, I, I'm going to say within five years. And I, if, if that, if that, that's like the long, long term. I mean, look what's look. You can't stream on Twitch anymore, making jokes, right? I mean, uh, Venti and the others may not have been fucking hammered completely with it yet, but it's a step along the route to making it so it's a sanitized, cookie cutter bullshit uh, form of entertainment where nobody can make an off-color joke, nobody can do a bit that's funny. Everybody has to know somebody to get far. YouTube already has a police force of ten thousand people. Zuckerberg is working with the EU and Merkela to get rid of anything deemed hate speech. Jack and his blue hairs at Twitter will fucking put you on timeout if you tell an off-color joke. So what does that leave you? You've got a few sites you can go to, like a Gab or something like that, but every time they set it up, Google and the others, you know, domain registers and all that shit, will find some way to fuck with them. So, I, I mean, I think that's pretty obvious where everything is headed. I, I don't think anybody's really unaware of it at this point, right? Uh, like, nobody's got blinders on, yeah. do they? Uh, no, uh, it, it I want to talk real quick. I, I uh, saw last night Ricky Gervais's uh, stand-up thing that's on Netflix, and he mm. spent like a good 15 minutes talking about his interactions with people on Twitter and how they get fucking triggered at his things just over just fucking anything. And uh, he recently tweeted out that Count Dankula thing. So it's just uh, interesting to hear his stand-up from fucking months ago talking about fucking just people getting triggered. I think the... Gab and all these and all these uh, alternative quote unquote sites are just trying to get big enough to get bought out. That's it. Kick him. Kick him, Venti. Kick him. Um, I, <laughs> I don't know, do I don't know how to do that. I don't know how it to do It only took job. him twenty minutes to get to... quota. Only took him twenty minutes to get to fucking talking about bit shooting shit. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Jumping you know... off uh, jumping off on the hand. If I had a if I had a shot for every time I've had to stop on my stream and say, "Oh wait, sorry guys, can't tell that joke or I'll get banned." Got to keep it TOS friendly. I'd be drunk every stream. That's how it is. Yeah, it sucks. Like I remember the old streams, uh, even from like four or five years ago, or even back like Justin TV and shit. You know, like you could do whatever you wanted basically and be left the fucking alone. You had to do something really insane, like really, really fucking insane to get a lot of people watching for somebody to finally intervene. But now, like, one person watches, gets upset, hits a button, and you're fucked. I don't know why stuff that isn't family-friendly isn't um, desirable for advertisers. Like, I'm not saying, oh, advertisers should go advertise on uh, child porn. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying, mm -hmm. like, stuff that's even, like, like this show, for example. Why is that not advertiser-friendly? Plenty of people watch it. Plenty of people would see your advertisement. It, it's not It's not even about advertisers. What pisses me off, the other day on my 24-hour stream, it got hit by one of those uh, age-restricted things. So uh, it cut off the super chats. So people weren't allowed to, to give super chats because it was now age-restricted. <laughs> oh, fuck, your chat's right. I didn't even think about that. But Twitch support's fucked, isn't it? You can't do that kind of trolling anymore. You'll get kicked right off the fucking site now, won't you? Yeah. Oh, for what? Oh, have trolling's seen... on Twitch. Yeah, much. have you never seen Twitch support, Andy? Wait, but... Wait, if you... If you troll Twitch support... No, no, no. no. If, if, you, if, if you pretend to be Twitch support oh, and get oh, more okay, milk in this okay. computer, you're pretty much fucked. They won't let you do that anymore. Everything on Twitch. Like, like, like I want to do some speed runs on Twitch. I'm just scared to go back. The like, most pathetic thing I notice about Twitch is the fact that Brittany has to throw up her 23andMe and Ancestry.com on the screen so she can on make cookies. <laughs> on a keybind. Like, literally the other day, I was telling them, I don't know if you heard when I said this, but there was a staff member that was in my stream hours before the new TOS was going to get implemented, and I was streaming, like, late night. And I, and I saw them go in there, and they came in right when I was talking about, like, uh, we should have... Uh, channels online things saying that they're online segregated one for black people and one like one for colored people and one for white people so we can appreciate black people more and they came in right when I said that so then I had my ancestry and 23 me on a keybind and I just clicked it and I'm like listen if you want to ban me just do it tomorrow and it, sh it shows that I'm like part black and then they left but Wendy uh, now they have this new category called visible minorities and if you don't uh, if you're not a visible minority then uh I don't think you can really qualify for all the benefits and everything. Have you seen my nose? <laughs> Have you seen my hair when I don't blow dry it? It's, it's well, you you blow dry it, so I don't know. I, I uh, like how you completely got shut down on that. Where she was like, "Have you seen my nose?" And he's like, "Ah." ah. 
<laughs> I guess that's I guess that's the end of that conversation. Uh, the, what's the funny thing is that my nose isn't even like from my mom, which is the one that's part black, like half black or more, according to the ancestry results. Um, it's actually from my Slav side slash German side. Mm. So it's not even a black feature. It's just Slavic nose, and everyone's like Slav power. Well, well, black feature. Oh well, this is uh, this has been fun. I guess Mr. Music couldn't come on. Uh, yeah, Tonka, Taylor, whatever. If you want to set Maybe, that up, um, whenever you want to, that's fine. But I, I got to jump here. So, are any new hey, videos Andy, coming down the pipe? Oh fuck! I, I yeah, I, I I I'm focusing on the uh, MRA thing and then the uh, school shooter that got defeated by furniture. Oh, so that shit. should be good. All right. All right, uh, Andy. Good luck with the tweets. Hopefully, everybody's tweeted that out. Your statements are very, they're very hard. <laughs> but uh, it's brave of you to take that fucking stance on what you believe about Dankula needing to go to prison. I'm just, I'm shocked by it, really, to be honest with you. I, I think I need to leave. That's yeah. very bold. Hey, Jim. Ah, oh, goddammit. <laughs> he just fucking dipped out. <laughs>